Dude, I've been playing um, a lot of Zelda. Yeah. You got to come get Iron Watch. I'm down. It is the coolest game I've uh, ever played. I will come over this weekend. I just freed a city from a pirate invasion. Yeah. So, yeah. Not a big deal. They gave me a bunch of Zone and Night equipment. So, I'm pro- I'm kind of running Hatena Village right now. Not that you care, Emily. I actually really don't. What the heck? You're supposed to like the stuff I like. Welcome back to the Almost Friday Podcast. Real quick, we are brought to you today by BetterHelp and ExpressVPN. Find more balance with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash Almost Friday today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash Almost Friday for 10% off your first month. And if you want to get access to hundreds of new shows, go to expressvpn.com slash almost Friday right now, and you can get an extra three months of ExpressVPN for free. That's expressvpn.com slash almost Friday. Most Friday. Let's get in there. Hey, guys. Welcome back to the Almost Friday podcast. We got a great episode for you today. Let's jump right in, though. I want to see these videos. There's two videos I really want to look at. Yeah. You you have one for me, you were saying? Can we start with that one? Because it's real fucked. Emily, right. TV. Uh, this is the most tragic shit ever. You guys got to pull these videos up and watch along. If you're driving, make sure you look them up later. I'm sure you've seen the first one. If um, you're driving, pull the fuck over. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <Emily, laughs> or don't. Emily, Emily <laughs> come on. Get, give him a break. He's Give him a break. He's probably on the way to work right now. You're, do, you're doing fine. Just you're right. uh, Sometimes when I was driving... When I was like 19, I would just close my eyes for four seconds. I'd do that. Or like 10 seconds and see like what happened. <laughs> I would try to, if I had a girl in the car, I would try to do that sick ass uh, Paul Walker move from Fast and the Furious where you just stare them down and you don't look at the road. And you unzip. And I unzip. No. No. And then we both. And all they can see is a rainforest pushing out of the, <laughs> it, like a bushel out of the zipper. No, my pubes were not crazy back then, dude. Well, I'm saying that the the head of let's just move on. <clears throat> yeah, this video is pretty crazy. Also, I'm gonna go. Speaking of Paul Walker, Fast Ten, I'm going this weekend. I'm bringing a forty and a steel reserve into the theater, and I'm gonna watch it alone. I'm gonna smoke a cigarette in the theater. What's a steel reserve? Steel reserve is like a re. It's a malt liquor, and it's flavored, and it tastes like really bad. A lot of sugar. I'm you drink that. half the 40, sidewalk slam it, and you smoke cigs in the theater, and if they try to kick you out, you just make a scene. I like that. I'm a big Fast and Furious guy. I would go see that, dude. I also am desperately trying to see fucking Barbie the second it comes out. Yeah. I watched the trailer for that. I was like, like it's either going to be like really good or really cringe. It's going to be fantastic. Tyler was telling me that the... I need to look into it, but like the director of the movie, like it, it's going to be very self-aware. It's going to be kind of like meta. It's going to be very good. See that? It's. I'm very excited. That trailer was fucking great. Yeah. Will Ferrell looks like he's doing a uh, Lego I, movie. Huh? I think he's just doing Lego movie character again. Oh, I was going to say it's. I haven't seen the Lego movie, but it seems like he's doing uh, the uh, fuck. What's it called? Zoolander. It's, you haven't it, seen the Lego movie? No. It is. It's good. It's better than Puss in Boots. I'll tell you that right now. I still haven't finished that. I gotta watch that. And it's better than Paddington too. That movie's fucking incredible. And Lonely Island did the soundtrack. I will watch. Will Arnett plays Batman, right? Yes. His character's amazing. That, that movie is like, our film school final was on that movie. On the Lego Cause movie? Because it, it was so good. Damn, I'll watch it. It's unbelievable. And the animation's amazing. It's very funny. All right. I'll, I shall check this out. Emily has this. How, how we. I'm just waiting for you guys to be ready. We're ready. Oh, okay. So. Sorry. We just have so much to talk about. I We've, know. I love it. Me, me and Liam, after we spend four days apart. I, and I lo- Maybe you guys need to spend more time apart so we we're, have more to talk we're about. We're such chatterboxes. I know. No, I'm, right. I'm kidding. So do you need to preface what this is? Or are we just yeah, playing? we should preface it. So. Uh, You've all seen it. This is yeah. You've probably all seen it. This is a very tragic video. So this kid, I don't think 18, I've seen it. So this eighteen-year-old uh, was on a, a party boat of sorts. I think he had just graduated high school and he was with his friends. Big a, graduation party in a different. I forget where they were. Bahamas, something like that. Uh, <clears throat> so they're on a graduation trip, 
somebody dares this 18 year old kid to jump off the boat the kids from baton rouge it's so it's so fucked uh yeah, this isn't really – this is not a funny video, but it's, no. like, very intense, and I, I would like to see. And I saw it last night. I can't stop thinking about it. So, essentially, he jumps off the boat. People are arguing over whether he – he died. He drowned. Uh, or they, they stopped looking for him on May 24th. Yeah. And it's now May 30th. Yeah. So, it's, it's – it's, he's no longer alive. They have not found him. But – so, he jumps off the boat. They throw him a lifeline to grab onto. Uh, and you can see him like kind of looking to get towards the lifeline. And then from one angle on the video, you can see a fucking massive dorsal fin in the side fin of a shark. I I didn't know about this. Coming at him. And then he quickly turns around and starts swimming away. And people are like, why the fuck is he like, why did he start swimming away? Some people are arguing that he got caught in the wake of the boat and it was pulling him in because those boats will just suck you underneath. But... From what I saw, it's a pretty clear dorsal fin and fucking normal fin. And then he just disappears. So. Ooh, I don't like the shit. Yeah, it's so fucked. And also, uh, I was reading up on that, like, the type of boat they were on. And it takes miles to turn that thing around. I'm sure, dude. So he would have been sit and it's shark infested waters in the middle of the night. Well, the thing is. I saw this on Reddit uh, that those like types of cruise ships, I don't know if it was a cruise, but it's like a party boat with a lot of food and stuff. They throw so much food off the side of the boat and dump it that fish will follow these boats the entire time they're out in the water. So they'll have schools of fish and there's like a video of it and sharks will just kind of circle it the entire time because they know they're going to get free food. So apparently like this kid jumping out is just victim to that. I hope it wasn't a shark, dude, but because people are saying it was a wave breaking or it was a reflection off the boat, but it's it's a damning visual of a fucking shark. Rip it, Emily. Okay, let's see it. Cameron this Robbins, what up. actually happened? See it? See it? Oh yeah. God. Oh, and then, oh, like, he, he turns and he's oh, like, yeah, you can see him freak out a little bit. Yo, this Play one more time. I just feel like it's so hard to see what it actually is. It, wait, hold on, pause. Let me say, let me try to see if there's a different one. Let me just see it on my phone. It's the lighting of the room yeah. on the TV. Yeah, there's like... I, Dude, like that's... And that's a big motherfucker. That sucks so bad. Dude, oh my god. That's the worst fucking way to go out I've ever heard of. Holy shit. I mean... It could just be a big fish. Uh, Honestly, this is going to sound fucked up, but it's that's better than just drowning, which would take him probably three hours to get tired and then fall under. Give me drowning. Really? Bro. This is way, it's way quicker, I would bet. Or it's not, like. I don't know. They're both, sound, they both sound so fucking horrible. Oh. Holy shit. That's I, a bummer. I mean, I you can't I can't say that like I blame the guy for jumping in and having fun on his graduation. No, everyone's using it as an opportunity to be like to shit on him. I'm like, Jesus Christ. Like, yeah, I saw a comment that was like I'm going to be like I'm going to be TikTok famous. Was like this is the best way to go out. I was like I don't think that's what he was doing. This I know, but I just feel like you should know that there's so many things that could go wrong. Yeah, you should. Obviously, you shouldn't be doing that. But like, they're Probably. serving him alcohol on a boat, and he's fucking eighteen. Mm-hmm. I'm assuming he's drunk for graduation. Yeah, he brought Someone's Bahamas, gonna Bahamas get, cruise. Somebody's gonna get sued. Yeah, dude, that is just holy shit. Uh, a few years ago, I think this was either in Cape Cod or Maine. A six year old woman, sixty year old woman, was swimming. Uh, decently far off the off the shore uh bit in half by a great white and her daughter was on shore that stinks yeah there's a ton of shark activity on cape cod this year uh and they're saying that there's been multiple reports of shark sightings in four feet of water so you could be up to your waist essentially and be next to a fucking shark and not know about it 
No. Because they're, they're, they're chasing the seals in so far this year. They're all starving. I really don't like that. That's so scary. It is so frightening. You ever seen a shark live? Uh, I have, but not in the water. I was I was on a boat, and you could kind of see like one, but it wasn't like one of the big ones. It was like, um, I think it was a sand shark. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, those are small. They're like four feet long, maybe, yeah, yeah. maybe even less than that, yeah. three feet long. Yeah, they're tiny. Those, those are fucking. Those will rip your boat up. I caught one one time. <clears throat> you caught a shark, huh? Where's that? Where's that on your resume? I don't know. And it Just tore em- up, tore up the uh, interior of my uh, my buddy's boat. Wow. It was just flopping around, fucking ripping shit up. Uh, <clears throat> damn, shark attacks are. I want to go deep sea fishing. So fun. Let's charter a boat in Marina del Rey and go deep sea. So down. I would love that. Probably wouldn't be that expensive. No. It'd be like 300, 400 bucks for the day, I assume. If we get a good crew. Dude, it's so fun. I go out with my buddy, my buddy Murph. His family's got a boat. I want to show my video now. Oh, yeah. Show yours. It's fun. Yeah. Okay. This is a, an ATM prank where the guy getting robbed and the guy robbing are both in on it. And they're just like... He's he's robbing him at the ATM to see how everyone reacts. So these two guys are in on it. Get your money! Yeah, these two. Fuck. Jesus! Get the fuck off! Me. Get off me! Fuck! Jesus! Fuck! It's a prank! It's a prank! It's a prank! Oh! What? It's a prank! You're right. Jeez. I'm so happy you got his fucking nose broken. Same. No, just wait. Just wait. What Idiot. the fuck do you no, think is gonna happen? No, just wait. Just wait. I'm so happy. What a fucking loser. Uh, Damn, that's a lot of blood. Emily. Oh! Oh! Fuck! Oh, fuck! Why didn't you give a warning? I said it's, there's gore. Oh my god. No, you did not. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it off. Oh, fuck. It's a, it's a fucking hole in his head. Ah! How did you right, stop, happen? stop, just stop. Put that shit off. He, oh, lit, he punched fucking his God. fucking nose bone into his brain. I'm so nauseous. Uh, oh. Oh, fuck. Well, yeah, that's what you get for being an absolute dickhead. Why? Why? Like, why do you... What, in what world does anyone think that that's a prank that's going to go right? Well, Losers. okay, in his... Not in his defense, but I know exactly why. We're watching it right now. He's probably so happy his nose got fucking punctured because everyone's watching this. Now. Oh, fuck, dude. That was a hole. I don't know. I wonder. <laughs> do, do you think he face. actually cares? It looked like nose? a chasm from hell oh, opened up. It's fuck. so bad. Do you do well with blood? Very well. And that's just a fun bit. It, it doesn't It doesn't make me like queasy. I like, want to pass say, out. I was going to say something awful. What? I stop myself. <laughs> you, you, <laughs> you what? You it. like rub it all over yourself or something? Yeah, I was gonna say something along, along those lines. Um, a little fun bit. A little Some fun. Je- a Jeffrey Dahmer. It was worse. It was. It was. Uh, it was the most it foul was... thing I've ever thought of. I think. I think I know where you're going with that. Emily gets it. Yeah. All right. And the audience gets it, but I'm not gonna say it. I think I get it, but I think that it's worse than I'm thinking. It probably is. All right. All right. Um. I got, I got, I wrote down all my, uh, my ideas in my journal today. Okay. Well, while you're looking at your, your ideas, characters. I have a gift. You have a gift? Mm hmm. And you have to open it on the pot. From whomst? It's from a listener. Well, who, name them. This is from Jack Snyder. Yep. Jack Snyder, thank you. Oh, sick. Uh, he's this... got, he's got a fucking. You know what this is. Is this our rug? Mm hmm. Let's <gasps> go. This is our first gift. I love gifts. Thank our you, Jack first Snyder. First handmade gift. Oh, and then we have to show the other one yeah. from yesterday. Oh, dude, this is so sweet. Yeah, that's awesome. Hold this up. No way. This is fire. That is so sick. This is fucking awesome. We Ready? gotta find it. Oh, we Ready? can hang that Ready? up and instead of this. In three, two, one. Oh, raise it. That's oh, awesome. That's dude, so this sick. is so sweet. Put it on that. Let's see what it looks like. Uh, nice. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, I can't wait to rub dog poop off my shoe into that thing. Dude, this thing's fucking. Sweet. I'm just kidding. I would never do that. Obviously, Jax. This is this is awesome. 
Yeah, that is, is so sick. sick. We got to find a good place to hang that up. Damn, this is fucking awesome. I mean, I would like, I would like to hang it up here. Only the problem is we have so many pods in here, and we'd have to keep swapping it out. We, we could, could put it behind me. Uh, holy uh, fuck! What happened? I almost I guess blocked we out. Could put it behind you, but I don't really want to do that at all. <sighs> just because it kind of highlights you as a bigger part of the podcast than we want you to be and i guess i don't know it just makes me really uncomfortable i don't see that working all right let's show the other thing we got some fan art oh yeah let's do it this is my this is my fave what's your name what's this gal's name her name is aja is what is on her profile that's her her instagram her instagram is aja and then a bunch of underscores art Thank you so much. This is fucking awesome. She's gonna make some more for us. I'm really this excited. is this is so funny. And like I was zoomed in on the faces, oh, and really like the details are so funny. Oh, zoom in on the face. I didn't like how you can't really see the eyes. I don't know why it's it's. <laughs> <laughs> Although the only thing is that you're Dino and I'm Raptor. I actually don't know if that's right. Yeah, who's who? I don't know. I guess it doesn't matter. Raptor. I love it. That's sick. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Excellent I work. love it. Um, we're going to print it, and we're going to hang it up somewhere. Yeah, for sure. We need merch with that. I'll throw that on a t-shirt for sure. Yeah, we'll figure it out. But we love it, and thank you for spending time on it. We really appreciate it. Hey, my Celtics got embarrassed. Yeah. I mean, it was going to happen. I didn't think so. That's. I said this when it was 3-0. I said it would be so much better for you if they just lost now versus if they took it to game seven and lost. And boy, uh, boy was I right. I don't know. I don't have the worst taste in my mouth leaving the season, and I got to watch more basketball. <laughs> We're guys. We're guys. Hello. But it, it – uh, I'm so sad because I don't know if – I don't know if this – if they're going to stay together or not. I don't know. Well, here's the thing. If you made the finals and lost, which anyone's going to because the Nuggets are ridiculous, then I feel like you can't fire a coach or blow up a team that made the finals. So this is the next best case scenario for you. I want Because the team needs to change, and they wouldn't change it if they made the finals. I want Missoula the fuck out of there. I don't know anything about him other than people think he's a pussy or a psychopath. Uh, I just think he has no experience and needs to get the fuck out. Of You're him. just an I- Ime Udoka truther. I love him, dude. Yeah. So what? He got laid all the time. So Is what? that really what just happened? That he like banged an exec's wife or something? Yeah. And then he was like, and like, not on my watch. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. I hope it. Uh, if it wasn't malicious, that's hilarious. Like if there was no power dynamics involved. I don't. That's think awesome, so, dude. It's just like. It, it didn't seem like it was from everything I read. But maybe it was. Who knows? Not me. Oh, fuck, dude. Now what do I do in the meantime? I don't watch baseball. Yeah, baseball sucks. So what happens now to me? Uh, That's a really good question. Like what happens? Sometimes I'll just... I won't even watch games. I'll just have them on in the background because it makes me feel like something's happening. I mean, I feel so safe if I hear a fucking (laughs) whistle. I don't even know why. It's not even about like, I don't even get it. It's not even about sports. It's just I need my I need my shows. I need my games. Succession and Barry are gone. I'm toast on Sunday. What happens to me now? There's no There's no big games. I'm toast. I have to have something to look forward to, or I can't get through the week. Yeah. And now what? Hmm. Who am I supposed to build ramps for now? <laughs> what is that? It's from Hara. Ah. Maybe we could start a book club. <gasps> Chris Powers is in a book club. We should join his. No, there he's probably in like a really like intense book club. It is. It's so where they intense. read they read like they don't read books, they read novella. Yeah. yeah. They read fucking books about kettlebells. Yeah, they and then read. They, you, have to, you have to bring, instead of bringing a bottle of wine over, you have to bring a different kettlebell and do something cool. Yeah. Emily, how was your weekend? Oh, <sighs> I was hoping this would never come. 
I had a great weekend. I went on three dates this weekend. Aren't you proud? (laughs) Two of them were the same guy, and that guy was great. And he doesn't know your names, so that's all that matters. That is a bi- very big it's a deal. Big, big step. Where'd big you guys step. go? Um, we got a drink at Bell's. Is it in Venice? Yeah, and then yesterday we, um, Bell's. yeah, it's like right, it's right next to uh, Teddy's Tacos. Oh yeah, mm. I do know that place. Mm. It's like across from Winston. So you got a drink on the beach. Yeah, and then what a dream. And then yesterday we hung out again. What did you guys do we yesterday? Around. We hopped around. We got a drink at in somewhere in like Santa Monica. And then we went to the Whaler. And then it got real ratchet. There were some girls like being a fucking stripper. So then we went and got food at Great White. So Sounds like a pretty successful weekend. Yeah. And you hung out with your friend Jared Goff. I did. I did. He actually listens to every episode he said. I don't believe that. He, and he told me I need to talk more. Should, we should plant some seeds, plant some nuggets in here to prove that he doesn't yeah, we listen. Should. Yeah. Okay. I'm just the code. The code word is, um, Heffelfinger. And if he knows that, if he texts us that code word, that means he listens. If he doesn't, I know he's probably not going to text him. Then we're going to be pissed. I'm going to be like, you lied. Well, he definitely. Why would he listen? He's he's busy. He says he listens. We were talking How like did, we were in getting in depth about it. How does he have the time? I don't know. He, I'll tell you this: he doesn't like the direction of the pod. No, he, <laughs> no. Made, that, he made that abundantly he made clear. That no, I think very... I think he was messing. <laughs> no, because he's been saying it for a while. Really? Yeah. He's been saying the same. He's had the same. He said he loves the pod. His his feedback was. I think he doesn't know you as well, so he didn't want to hurt your feelings. No, he was being. No, he no, he was being being pretty brutally honest. I'm, by the way, I'm not offended with his opinion. No, this I'm pod a- has no structure. He's he's correct. Yeah. I'm happy he has one. I, think I just don't think anyone cares that it doesn't have structure. I think no. that that's what makes us. I'm sure some people do. We'll we'll find structure along the way over the next 15 episodes. If anyone has a, get suggestions to give us structure, then give us some fucking structure. Yeah, guys, if you have suggestions to do Emily's job, can I you knew you were just to gonna us? say that. Can you send it to us? I do have. She's it. struggling. I- I can literally make structure for you, but Emily, you, are, you will refuse. Emily, I'm joking. You do awesome. You see what I did? I, I brought you down emotionally, and then I hit you with a compliment. So you're dazed and confused. You don't know what my opinion is mm-hmm. about you. That's called emotional manipulation. Yes, ma'am. I'm reading a book on it that what? I wrote. <laughs> you wrote it? Mm-hmm. Handwritten? It's a dossier. What would you write it on? Scripture. Yeah. Actually, it's on clay tablets. If you come into my house, it's <laughs> very alarming. I got seven tons of clay tablets. Holy shit. It's all about Emily. So it's in Hebrew? It's, <laughs> it's actually hieroglyphics. I can't even read it. You don't even know what I it just, means? It's like the uh, Sumer- it's, ancient it's, ancient Sumerian scrolls. Yeah. It's actually just pictures. It's <laughs> pictures of me screaming at women. It's pictures of knives and different types of food you like. Mm-hmm. All right. Do a character. Dance monkey. Let's see what I got. I got I got some. Could you start first? Yeah, I can start. In lieu of a character today, I want to talk about a character I met. It would Not actually be, in lieu of a character. Yes. Because he is a character. So I was at the airport and I decided to get a massage. First time I've ever gotten a massage. In an airport. Yeah, because my back was killing me. I couldn't get on the next flight. Interesting. Um, I know it was it was weird. Don't get me wrong, it was weird. And there's a reason I met the character where I did, which was the masseuse. He was very strange. And he was very I think he genuinely had like Asperger's or something. Yeah. Most airport <laughs> masseuses have something. They have something for sure. It was a really uncomfortable experience, but I wouldn't have been able to get on the next flight without it. But He was really quiet, and he was like, he's doing his thing. And I was like five minutes in, ten minutes in, completely silent. And I was like, thank God, this doesn't have to be weird with like forced conversation. then he just kind of chimes in, asks me where he's from. He's like, oh, I'm from Madison, Wisconsin. I was like, oh, that's cool. And then he makes one joke about how much they drink. 
and I I give like a courtesy laugh, and the next twenty minutes is him just deciding like, okay, that worked. That's all I'm gonna do. So every three minutes he would go silent, and then I could hear him gearing up like. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so, so people from Wisconsin, sometimes they get blood in their alcohol stream. No, he was just doing ripping one-liners. And every and then he would go silent for 3 minutes. And then I, I he I could hear his lips going <laughs> like he was getting ready to say something and then he would stop. He'd go, "No, that's B material. I need I need A material. I need fastballs." <laughs> I saw this uh, meme on Facebook that five five million Irish people could out drink three hundred million Americans, and then he paused for too long, and I laughed, thinking that was it. And he, and he was no, and and I said, sure, sure, maybe, but 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 a hundred thousand people from Wisconsin could out drink five million Irish. <laughs> and I I was such a pussy. I'd give him the laugh every time that he wanted. I know you. And he literally just did Wisconsin material for 20 minutes while he was, like, digging into my back. Oh, it I was like... so, so uncomfortable. And just his lips. Ew. Oh. I can hear that like in the headphones. him just gearing up. Damn, oh. man. He, oh, man, that sucks. Dude, it sucked. He's got nobody to talk to. Ever. Mm-hmm. Like, I, don't, I think he sounds like a pretty lonely fellow. And now I'm sad as fuck. Oh, how do you think I felt, dude? I don't. I felt like when you get massages, you're not supposed to talk. He missed that memo. <laughs> I think the Aspergers didn't help. Oh no, man. Oh, that's so sad. Oh my god. Yeah. Ugh. I'm trying to, but I just think that like, it's not all the way there, but it's like genuinely a type of character we would do on the podcast. You should make one like. Yeah. Oh, I mean, we could act it out. I'm just imagining him like he's he's doing a, a joke. Oh, at one point he did he did a, a Wisconsin joke, and I just went silent because I was like, I'm gonna let just one joke. Every other one I laughed at, I was like, I'm gonna let it pass, and hopefully he'll realize like I'm not into it. And like five minutes went by, and then I just hear <laughs> I hear him gearing up. And I'm just thinking, like, in his head, he's pro- I, he probably heard me not laughing. He's like, you fucking idiot. That one sucked. <laughs> you, your mom was right about you. Ah, it was dude. bad. It was bad. That poor soul. Then he wrapped his fingers around my neck. Started squeezing. He said, I like when they turn purple. <laughs> I love it when they're purple. All right, do your character now. Okay. Taking a quick break, break. to talk to you about better, better help. help. Uh, better help. BetterHelp is great. The benefits are incredible. Mm -hmm. Uh, It's good to work on yourself, man. It's good to work on your mental health. Liam, you have a bad back, right? Yeah. What makes you feel better? Stretching. And honestly, BetterHelp is kind of like stretching for the mind, stretching for the soul. You get out all the kinks. You can kind of figure yourself out, figure out what makes you feel better. It's great. You get some clarity. It's a very good thing. So find more balance with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash Almost Friday today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash Almost Friday. Let's get back into the episode. All right. So you are. Mm -hmm. I'm looking through my character list. I was just waiting for you to engage. No, I am. You haven't told me yet. You are. The. You are a. I can't do it. He's because he's not engaging. He's not engaging. Once you tell, put your me, fucking phone down. Okay, you're being disrespectful. No, I'm not. I'm looking through my characters. So well, we can... so what? He's doing his. It's his turn. I know. It's Liam's turn. I didn't. I didn't mean it like that. I'm very excited for your character. You always have the best characters. Emily just did. Uh, actually, he ordered no tomatoes on his burger. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? I thought that was gonna land. What is that from? Nothing. Is that a movie? Nope. Are you crying? No. I see tears in your eye. Not again. Is that from a show or a movie? No. I'm just... Uh... Why are you tearing up? No, it's just one of those things, I think, where it's like, 
Wait. You know when. Wait, you know Liam, when... do you have depression and anxiety? No. Oh, no. No, man. Nah. Oh, my God. Will. Nah, it's chill. Everyone was. Did you get a lot of people reaching out to you from last episode? So many people reach out being like, was Will okay? You were like, you were giving off depression. Oh, when I was trying that. to quit the pod. Yeah, yeah, I got a couple messages about that. <laughs> yeah, that's because... And that you actually cried, too. And people thought you were real crying. Well, I did. It well, was. I was fake crying, but I was real crying. He's an people, actor. But yeah, but people thought that you were, like, real, real crying. No, I'm, I'm just really talented. <laughs> All right, ready? You are a waiter. Look how engaged I am. You're engaged. You're engaged as fuck. It's like almost you guys could kiss right now. Hey, M, M, yo, quick T on what you're doing. Sorry. L, hit it. You are a waiter at one of those restaurants where the staff is mean to the customers on purpose. <laughs> okay. I love those places. Uh, I see where this is going. Your name is Jake Davis. Okay. I'm the manager, Shane Anderson. And uh, I I called you into my office because you're a little bit too mean to the customers. Okay. Hey, Jake. What's up, Shane? We talked about it, man. You just... Uh, you're too mean to is what is what I heard. That's the whole gimmick, though. You, uh, there's a Vietnam veteran out there. He asked for a chocolate milk, and you brought him a cup of pig's blood, and you dumped it on his head, and you said, "Baby killer, baby killer, baby killer." Yeah, that's funny. That's not f- Jake Davis. That's what they pay for. Jake, they want fun, fun mean, like ah, like you're a you're lazy, lazy bones and stuff like that. Uh-huh. That's you're doing. You told a pregnant woman that you you could tell her baby was going to be dumb and ugly. You tell a, she left a pretty big tip. That's what they want. I got people trying to take their own lives in the parking lot when they leave this place, mm-hmm. Jake. Mm-hmm. I can't. You just there's a line. There's fun, mean, and then there's what you're doing, which is it's it's a deeply malicious thing to be doing to other people. <sighs> yeah, I was dropping plates on purpose near that Vietnam vet. Yeah. Triggers PTSD. Not good. Not good behavior. Can't have it. You know? I just, I personally feel like that your intentions and my intentions are kind of zigzagging. Yeah. It's a simple. I've, this is uncomfortable because I was actually going to come in here and ask for a promotion. So. I told, the, the only higher job than yours would be mine. No. Can't have, can't have it. Okay. Consider it. Yeah. No. I you just, I, I need, I need you to say out loud, we can talk about promotions and stuff, but mm-hmm. just promise me you won't be as fun mean, not, not horrible. You can't make people cry. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. You, are, can you say it back to me? Can you understand? So like, say I'm, I'm a customer. I just sat down. Let's, I'm, I would like to hear some fun mean out of you. Uh, okay. What are you in a wheelchair? Are you blind? Are you one of the little, like, your little kid with the little funny arm? Let's say I am. Wh- which one? I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, I'm in a wheelchair. Okay. Um, you're physically disabled and everyone looks at you weird. See, that's not... How is that fun? That's just real. Because he can't walk. Yeah, and everyone's already looking at him. That's it. Yeah, exactly. Yes, exactly. Jake, I don't think you're. I don't think. Uh, I don't think you can work here anymore. Honestly, I'm going to give you one more shot. Okay, it's me. I'm a. I'm an able bodied. I'm. It's me. Okay, I sit down. You're writing. You know how we write shit on the hats and we give it to the customers. Uh huh. What would you write on my hat? That's fun. Me. My son's going to have Down syndrome, and I don't know it yet. <sighs> yeah, I'm going to have to let you go, Jake. I think you understand that. So the promotion then is on pause. You are fired. Fired. Yeah, you're fired. Is this is this a prank show? No. Is Gordon Ramsay coming in? Uh, restaurant rescue or whatever it is. No, you're fired. So. Did I do a good job? No. You you you've caused multiple different suicides. But I did a good job, right? 
No, you were actually like one of the worst employees I've ever had. I think. Right. In lieu of all that junk, I did a pretty good job, right? I think you're a sociopath. <laughs> but I did a pretty good job, right? Sure. Is that going to make you leave? Yeah. Yeah, it is. I'm gonna miss this. This I'm gonna miss this place. Causing a scene now, man. I'm gonna miss this place. You've only been here for a month, so I don't know how much you can miss it. You don't. Yeah. Know. All right. By the way, the guy at table three's uh, out in the parking lot. He set his car on fire and he's yeah. inside. Yeah, that's happened before. So every day I leave, I walk out and there's people pass down their cars from carbon monoxide poisoning. Body stack ten feet high. <laughs> I get. I guess you could say I left an impact on this place. Mm-hmm. We might go out of business, <laughs> but we have fun. We have fun doing it. You had some. Mm-hmm. Nobody else did. I can't tell if I'm so. I, I'm promoted. No. No. You've been fired. What is that not clear to you? Yeah, we're on. I'm saying the same thing as you say that. Repeat what I just said to you. You've been. You've been. Have you been drinking? No. Okay. All right. <laughs> that, was it, yeah. that was so long. Yeah, yeah, we just kept going with it. I liked it. Yeah, I think the premise is probably just the funniest thing. No, it's, it's awesome. Like too, too mean. <laughs> those are great. Yeah, I've never been to one of those restaurants, but I always feel like I would, I would get my feelings hurt pretty easily there. I want to go to one. That could be a good character, like a guy who goes to the restaurant, but he's clearly suicidal. He just wants another reason to do it. That was the initial thought. It was like a guy that was just like going. To, I was watching Succession. It's just like a guy that's gets off on being made fun of. Well, I love that. Um, do you have another one? Let's see what I got. I had the most insane Uber driver over the weekend that I could literally turn into a character. Do it started... right now. Too much pressure. I need to plan this out. <laughs> bless you, 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 bless you. Thank you. And that's guy who comes when he sneezes. You didn't even know it was a character. Yeah. <laughs> His name's uh, Randall. Riggle Gorbachev. Yeah. Ooh, that was a good one. Yeah, I know. But anyway, he I knows started. It's all I do. Yeah. Drop hundies. I started recording the conversation because I thought I was going to get murdered and like, it, or something was going to happen, and I needed proof of the conversation. So I'm gonna I'm gonna compile the best parts so I can show you guys for the next pod. I think in general you should record all of your conversations because. Then when you think that we're gaslighting you, you can listen to the recording yeah, you're and so go. Right. And that's not me being mean because I no, like I you. Know. I think you're just you're, trying to help. Think you're a great person. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah, you're a good guy. <laughs> yeah. I've been doing that a lot recently. It's just like deep exhales with a. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I do. I've been doing it on stage a lot. It's so fun. Like anytime anyone chimes in in the audience, I just go, yeah, <laughs> and it shuts everyone down. And how have you been? So how are you? That was my move. You remember that? The yeah. first year I'd work here? <laughs> yeah. Someone said how something I didn't like. And you were how? And you've how been, have you been? You've been going through a hard time. Everyone's been saying that. Um, you've been good lately? How? The louder you get, <laughs> the the more impactful the sentiment is. <laughs> it shuts you down immediately. <laughs> I remember it would just send me into a giggle fest, and I couldn't say anything. <laughs> yeah, little guy? Yeah? <laughs> hey, guy, have you had it? You've had a good weekend? <laughs> You've been doing pretty good. Should we fix this? Yeah. Or I guess it's kind of it's kind of representative of where this episode's gone. It's kind of it's kind of a theme threaded through this this big uh, quilt we've been weaving for you guys. Mm, mm, mm. Oh. oh. And that's another metaphor. <laughs> right? You are fun. You're having a good time today. You are fun. Just, I can't, I can't. And, and, now, and now we're fully there. 
taking a quick break to talk about ExpressVPN, guys. There are so many benefits using ExpressVPN. You know, there's security, the privacy benefits. Those are obvious, but, you know, there's other reasons. Like, you could watch your favorite show that isn't available in your country. Use ExpressVPN, hop over to the UK, hop over to Italy, wherever they got it. Okay, I use it a ton for sports when I'm watching NFL games. Some games are blacked out. I use ExpressVPN to watch games not available to me. Okay, this works with basketball too, baseball, whatever you watch. ExpressVPN has a use for you. Go to expressvpn.com slash almost Friday right now and you can get an extra three months of ExpressVPN for free. That is a crazy deal. Expressvpn.com slash almost Friday. Let's get back into the episode. I want to send you out onto a lake. And you're in a little rowboat with no oars and just a bunch of dry wood. And then when you get to the center of the lake, I shoot a, a flaming bow and arrow. Little do you know there's a tank of gasoline under your feet. Hits that. Okay, I'd should like we do some that. character submissions that you can act out since of you have a fucking lack of I have another one. I have another one. Okay. I'd like to... Liam, you are slaying. You're not, you're not going to like this one. I don't care. I'd like it, to... At least you're prepared. Um, all right. I'm going to use this bag. Um, okay. Uh, your name is Nate Crum, and you are hosting a dinner party. Okay. I am your neighbor, Matthew Shampoo, and, uh, I'm showing up. I usually, I'm a scientist. Mm Mm-hmm. I usually show up with my wife to these things. (laughs) (laughs) But she's not with me. All right. Uh, so... Oh, Matthew, you Nate. SOB. What's up? Uh, hey, where's where's uh, where's Melinda? She was ah, uh, she was uh, busy today. But I got I oh, brought no, you she... uh, this bag of yogurt I made. So thanks, I... vanilla yogurt. Okay, I'll put it in the fridge. Uh, why didn't you just bring it in the container that it comes in? I uh, I made it. It's homemade yogurt. Yeah, it's... one one of your one of your contraptions. You're always tinkering away with. Yeah, and there's some. Yeah, yes. Okay. Well, this is great. We can p- probably maybe do a little parfait with this before great. we. That's not eat. my wife. I didn't. I wasn't actually doing like doing some experiment, and, like accidentally like turned my freaking wife into like yogurt. That's not something that happened. So she's home tired. She's sleeping. Okay. That's regular, regular old. Uh, that's regular old. That's yogurt. It's just yogurt. So. Okay. Yeah. Oh, dude! It stinks. I think it's expired or something. Just what's the smell like? Like human organs. That's weird. <laughs> it smells like like decomposing fruit or something. Weird. Oh. Weird. That'll probably if I it's probably it's probably nothing. Okay. That smells probably nothing. Hey Matthew. Yeah. Is oh. this a bone? Oh. Oh, that is, that's not a, that might be a shell from the, you gotta use, I used eggs to make it. That's probably an egg shell. Okay. It looks like a very small spinal cord. Right. Can I tell you something, Nate? Yeah. Here, hold on. Let me close the door behind us. Hey, what's up, man? Uh, I accidentally fucking turned my wife into yogurt. Yeah. And I brought her over in a bag because I didn't, I thought you were in it. I don't know. I don't know, man. Hey, Matthew, you're kind of blowing up my dinner party. Yeah, I'm trying to trying to bang Rob's wife, and you're kind of blowing up my spot. So take your don't fucking I, I, wife and get the fuck out of here. All right, she's still alive, just in a different form. Are you guys gonna stay together? I mean, I'm gonna fuck this and see how it feels. I'll, I'll make a decision based off that. <gasps> damn it! Why'd you say damn it? <laughs> I don't know. Just thought it sucked. No, that was awesome. I thought you were going somewhere so different with that. Could I, I thought you were going to say it was cum. 
<laughs> no. Yeah, Emily, not everything we do is about common murder. <laughs> Can I tell you my other alternative? <laughs> yeah. That to that? And this alternative can be my character. Yeah. Uh, so you can't get mad now. Um. All right. So we live in a alternate parallel universe. Oh, I don't want to act it out. I'm a homeless guy. You, you act it by. out. Well, you just you just got to walk by me. Okay. I'm, I'm a homeless guy. All right. Hey man, hey man. Any anything helps. Any oh, any amount. I don't have cash on me. Any either. amount of yogurt helps. Yogurt's money in this alternate. <laughs> <laughs> it's a parallel universe where yogurt is money. Love that for you. And homeless men ask for yogurt because that's it's their form of currency in this parallel universe. So. <laughs> <laughs> Enough yogurt will get you a, a home. I got to have something else here. No, that was so good. I just have to have something else here. <laughs> Let me check. Let me check. Do you see the amount of character submissions we have now? See that number? Jesus Christ. 897. So, sorry if we don't get tears, but that's insane. Uh, let's want to do something on the fly here. We'll see how this goes. Uh, I'd love to. I... I'm gonna I'm gonna throw this on to you. Oh no, I, I get so nervous with these. Stomach hurt. This yeah. is a Yankee Candle. I just feel really sick. I'm the I'm a, an employee at Yankee Candle, and uh, you you've been banned, but you've you've come in in a disguise, and I don't recognize you. Yet. Yeah, I don't know why. Like, yeah, you know, but yeah. So this is the Ocean Breeze. If you'd like to take a whiff of that. Oh yes, I'd love to. Fuck. Oh my fucking god. Hey, is everything all right? No. No, you don't like that one? I can No, get, you get it away. Get it away. Get it away. Yeah, yeah, I can get you another one. Yeah, give me the strawberry one. Okay, this is this is strawberry cream. <laughs> yeah, that'll work. Yeah, that's really going to work. Hey man, you How many of these do you have? About 18. And that could go in the bag. What were you about to say? Are you... You're not that guy we kicked out of here a week ago for being getting weird with the candles. You're you? not allowed to ask me that third amendment. Yeah, that doesn't... You're not allowed to ask me that. Look at the Constitution, asshole. <laughs> Give me a pineapple one. Okay. Here's a pineapple. Yeah, that's going to work. No one's going to be able to tell what I've been doing in my garage. See, yeah, you are the Yeah, guy. that's really going to work. No one's going to be able to tell who's in my garage. Do you have any pomegranate? I know that pomegranate's not really in season, but I'd love a pomegranate candle if you have one. Uh, yeah, I do have one. I can give it to you if you promise you won't moan while you sniff it. You, can you promise me that you won't moan while you sniff the pomegranate candle? I promise. Ugh, sorry. Yes, I promise I won't moan while I sniff the... What is it? You asked me... Just don't fucking moan while you sniff this, please. Sniff it like a normal human being. It's like one and done. Oh, yeah. The CIA is never going to be able to tell what experiments I'm doing in my garage with that lady. Yeah, no one's going to be able to tell what the heck I've been doing if this thing covers up the, the damn stink. You got to go. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Emily, what, what did you think? I liked it. Ah, oh, you bitch. You hated it. You hate everything we do. I don't think much of you. No, I liked it. Really? Yeah. All right, I think you're great. Want to do some smishes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So maybe we can find a good one to act out. Anal Cruz. Annie Cruz is her name. <laughs> Sorry. I actually, is that real? I, yeah, I read that. I thought that. Sorry. Chert Powers. <sighs> good name. Chert is great. Guy who reverts every conversation back to how much he hates the WNBA. Okay, so so this character is just a guy. Yeah. Jake Kramer. 
Wrigley Tim is a divorce attorney, and you're trying to get through the details of a messy divorce, but he recently just got into the show Lost and is trying to find any excuse to talk about it. <laughs> Let's, can we try this? I like that one a lot. All right, I'll be the divorce attorney. All right, cool. Wait, so, so you're just going... to be clear, you, I'm the lawyer, and you, I'm trying to get information out of you, but you only talk about Lost. All the way around. No, 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 okay, no. Okay, you be the lawyer then. Okay. So you're going through divorce, Will. Okay, and um, I, I, I know it's... I know it's hard with my record and everything, but I really, really want custody. Can yeah, you? yeah, we can get custody. Like we, there's you probably, think so? There's probably a good chance. I oh, mean, that would mean the world to me. Are you thinking full or split custody on that? I mean, I want full, but with my record, like I said, split is probably what we'll have to settle for. Yeah, you know how to sick record, though? A lot of... I'm getting to Lost right now. A lot of the dudes there are... Not a lot, like formal formal criminals. Like there's this one guy who really likes he's he's like a heroin addict. Uh huh. And he found a bunch of heroin in a in a plane in a tree in the woods. Now Oh yeah, I think I remember that. I used yeah. to watch that show when I was a kid. Yeah, it's like weird. There's there's uh there's kind of like magical or you know, I can't you know, it's hard to tell what's real and what's not in the yeah. show. It's very weird. Okay, well, um, another thing I wanted to talk about is I know I made a mistake, but when we separated, I left and she stayed in the house. And yeah, I yeah. want to get my stuff out of there. Yeah. But now she's kind of, you know, there's this 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 tug and pull of like, what's mine, what's hers? And yeah. So she's not letting me back into the house. She's not letting me in. People have, in, I, 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 ex, I fucked up too. Because I actually got the ending of Lost spoiled for me. But it kind of makes it better watching it through knowing what's going to happen. Because you can just pick out, you can see little uh, details and, you know, symbolism that will, it's all just like tying it all together. It's very cool. Okay. Um, and one more thing you should know. There's records, there's recordings of me saying some things that are not going to paint me in a good light that are going to kind of turn the jury against me, turn the audience against me. They're not going to be happy when they hear the recordings and they're going to crucify me. And I, 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 is there a way we can get that evidence kind of scratched from the record? Wrigley? Hmm? Sorry, what? I was thinking about the next episode of Lost. <laughs> <laughs> That was, that was great. Good. Jay Kramer, thank you. Rick Address. Good name. Ex-baseball pitcher, now a waiter at a busy restaurant. He won't stop throwing people their food by the handful, yet seems the most upset by his actions. That's fantastic. That's great. We can't act it out, but that's awesome. Emmett. Emmett Mari Tato. Tanner Tangle. Tanner is a big time DJ, and whether it be showing friends new mixes or about to play a show, he always spends too much time <laughs> untangling his gear. Most times he loses a crowd despite his desperate attempts to keep the crowd entertained while he finishes untangling his equipment. <laughs> Fucking genius. <laughs> That's so great. That reminds me of the character you did with the, in the um the airplane where you're trying to get shit out of your backpack. <laughs> oh yeah. Go Jack there. Denver. John Spaghetti is a man who pretends to be blind for attention, but he hides the fact that he is. <laughs> Want to try that? <laughs> That's so good. I'm blind. <laughs> hey, John. I can't see fucking shit. John. 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 Sorry, I'm blind. Sorry. John. I see you. Hey, man, we got to move. You're in the crosswalk. Damn, I'm blind. I can't see. <laughs> Life's so hard. It's tough being blind, <gasps> being able to hear, but not being able to see. <laughs> I don't know what to do with this one. It's such a good premise. <laughs> hey, John. Come on, man. We got to move. Where are we going? This way. Sorry, I'm blind. I We're can't going see. to the store. Man, life's so hard being blind. It ain't easy waking up. Not no, not can't even find my cock to take a piss. 
John, I can help you take a piss. Come on. We got to go. Who's touching me? It's me. Who's get off me? It's me. Who's touching me? You're good. There's cars honking. You have to move. God, I can't see anything. <laughs> okay. It's just this over and over. I think he really likes this one. John, the character's over. I can't see fucking anything. John, the character's over. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you, Jack Denver. Jack Denver. Okay, one more. Matt lands down. Stunt Stunt Thorpe Macintosh. Am I reading that right? Stun Thorpe Macintosh. In a Harry Potter world where everyone's wands are the same size as their dicks. He is insecure and doesn't want to pull his wand out in an emergency. That's, that's a good one. That's pretty great. That is that's good. That's pretty great. Thank that you, Matt. Down. That's really good. Um, do you have any parting words? Parting parting thoughts? No. I've said everything I wanted to say. Oh, I will say this, though. If you haven't already... If you like the episode and you want more, you should subscribe to the Patreon. We have a lot of fun doing it. This week, Liam and I watched 80 for Brady, and we're going to break it down. So if you want to watch and follow along and break it down with us, I think it'll be a lot of fun. We go through a lot of video submissions on there. We really want to engage with you guys on that platform. I think that's the best way to do it. Um, So, yep, we'll keep making these episodes the same, but the Patreon episodes will be a little bit more tailored to interacting with you guys and um, just trying to talk to you guys. So, join if you'd like. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, please join. It's actually a great time. We uh, we say a bunch of crazy, wacky, zany stuff. Yeah. L- Liam is unchained. <laughs> <laughs> this 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 uh, fucker's a nut job. Let's just say that. You thought you knew Liam Culler? On the Patreon, he's a whole nother beast. Bye. Bye. And remember, it's too late to apologize. It's too it's late. late. Hey, hey. Too late to apologize. It's too yeah. late. Hey, hey, hey. hey. Tell me that you need me, me. then you me. go and shut me down. down. But wait, tell me that you're sorry, and you even turn around. And then it's too late to apologize. And too late. Hug your mother. Goodbye.